What's up guys? We're back again, another Honda Navi video. In today's video, we will not be doing anything build-wise. We will actually be diving into the known speedometer cable issue with these bikes. There's a ton of rumors and speculation as to exactly what is wrong with these bikes, but to kind of put it flat out on the table for everybody, this is your gauge cluster. This is your speedo. That's how many miles you have, whether you're in kilometers or mile, miles per hour that's on you. But essentially, and I'll, I can actually go ahead and show better on this bike. You can tell whether your bike is good or not because you see that little gap in, in the top gauge cluster plastic. Yeah, um, definitely uh, something's wrong there. Just that little gap right there, guys. Just that little gap. I just did this on my father's bike. Look at that gap. It almost matches the complete other side. It will never actually totally match because when these come from the factory, this puts a lot of stress on the plastics. So the speedometer cable is actually pressing up on this piece on this side because it feeds onto this side. That's what one of those three cables are. And over time, it presses up on that piece of plastic and physically bends it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into this, pump out this video for you guys. No shaking and baking, no nothing. We're just gonna go ahead and do this cold cut turkey. I'm gonna show you guys how to take it apart, how to diagnose it, how to fix it. Um, well, let's get into it. Fun fact, and I've seen this absolutely everywhere for people who are gonna go ahead and swap this shroud off. There's a small little eight millimeter on the bottom. It's a little hex that's used for actually pointing this headlight beam up and down. You do not have to take that off for disassembly because all it is is there's a little pull clip right here underneath. And then you just go ahead and disconnect this and then that's it. See, that's the eight millimeter people are talking about. You do not have to take this off every time you want to take this headlight guard off. All right, so ignore this complete jumble and mess of wires. I have LED resistors in here with my turn signals and stuff. So go ahead and completely ignore all of that. So this is your speedometer cable right here. It has like grooves on it. Mine's already loose because I've actually already gone into my gauge cluster. So you have this piece of chrome coming out and it's actually angled. It, it like comes out and then it goes down. So this is actually incorrect. So if you go ahead and take a look inside this piece, you'll actually see that it's, it's already stressed. See it? See it making that weird bend? This black piece right here is actually part of the frame. It's, it's part of the forks. I think you can unbolt it. I don't, I don't know if it's that bolt or this one takes your side plastic off, but I think you can actually take this off. But it's actually stressing going around that bar. And I think that's where the tension comes because the master key, I'll show you when I, when I take it out. What happens is it, bend, it needs to make this bend and the cable is already awkward enough at that bend. And now it has to make this sharp bend to go back down. And as that's spinning inside, it puts a lot of stress on this point. So this is the breaking point right here. So all we have to do is technically move this. Let me go ahead and, and move this. But this is where we want this cable to be. Not here but here. We want it to be right down and just straight through the bottom of the bike. So if yours doesn't break loose, just use one of these and clamp it on and just turn it to the left. And then that will loosen it up. And you can go ahead and just take it off with your hand. Once this comes off, the master key might not want to go with it, but most of the time it will. So you will not lose this. It'll just go down the cable until it hits. So you're good with that. You can go ahead and let that go. You have a small little tapered flat piece right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Okay. So they have this little tapered flat piece that actually has to sit flush against that when this screws down. But all you do is pull it out and you see that square, it's actually ribbed. That's the master key. And this is what's pretty much, you know, murdering itself. You can push it in, you can pull it out a little bit more if you want. It's attached to a cable, which is designed to spin. It is lightly greased up 
as you can tell. Um, so all we're gonna do is feed this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed this down behind this black bar that we see right here, how it curves and goes down, where it's stressed. And we're just gonna feed it up on the other side of that. So rather than it coming up the bike, going like this and then up in, all it's gonna do is just go pretty much straight up through this little bend thing in the chrome, which needs to be there, and just straight into the gauge cluster. Looking at this dead on, this used to turn this way and go around this black piece down. That's not how it was actually designed to do. Um, so now it's just fed straight up, right through. You guys can see, it's just gonna come straight up from there and it's just gonna feed right in. That's gonna be a lot better for it. It's gonna be a lot better for the bike. It's gonna run probably the same. If yours hasn't broken yet, if yours is broken, then obviously it's gonna run differently because it's actually gonna work. Make sure that that little flat piece is there. The little collar, go ahead and whip this thing right on. Tighten it as much as you can by hand. Um, and make sure that the curve is pretty much going, you don't want it like this, you don't want it like this. Make sure it comes like out and then just down. So you don't want, any type of side play, like you don't want this to be over here, you know, or the other direction. Just make sure that it pretty much just goes straight down. Go ahead and tighten that up as much as you can with your hand, and then go ahead and take these trusty bad boys. And just keep on tightening it. Till. It doesn't have to be super, super tight, but you want to make sure that it's snug so it doesn't do itself. And then that's, well, literally it. Go ahead and put the headlight back on and um, that is literally it. All right, that's what it looks like when it's all done. And look at that gap. It's automatically like so much better. Um, I think over time with it, riding it and stuff, I think this is going to go ahead and recede back down, probably probably to about right there. Um, but yeah, so speedometer, there you go. Um, because what was happening is this part was fine. There's really nothing they can do here. Like this cable could literally be, be mixed behind those. Like it literally doesn't matter. The issue they were having is where this speedometer cable comes up and pretty much that little black crossbar thing, it was fed around that. So whenever you'd go ahead and take a turn, you'd think that because the speedometer runs off of the front wheel, it would stay constant, but it was actually stressing out that cable because you'd go ahead and turn right and it would wanna come off, or no, actually, I think it would be a little bit harder because of that crossbar. Now, if this was go, this was perfectly free where it is right now, just went straight down, all it would have to do is that. But you had that curve in the chrome, and then you had it trying to like go around that black thing just to get down. So I could actually see how those were failing. So, I mean, my dad's looks a hundred times better. Like you should have seen that thing before I even did it. I would like them to be like this, but I guess it's just a weird fitting piece, but that's all right. I hope this cleared up a lot for everybody who had questions. Um, as far as if, if this is like the actual, actual, like real deal, like you pull, like you leave your bike there overnight, the next day they're doing exactly this. I'm pretty sure, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what they're doing. That's the reason why it takes so, so little time because they're gonna go ahead and impact those four screws off, disconnect your light circuit, and then just loosen the cable and move it three inches. So, you know, it's, it's, I'm getting ready to go ahead and take this out for a ride. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to be popping out some more of these, these little videos and stuff like that. Little informational videos where people are just probably, you know, generally confused 
or if they're just wondering some little knickknacks here and there. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, and I'll see you guys next time.